hi my name is Amaka and welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to show you how I take down my cornrows that have been in my head for over a month or on my head for over a month um, I just put them in two strand twist until I'm ready to wash them yeah so I'm just showing you what my hair looks like right now so we move over to washing my spray bottle sorry about that like I have cut out so so my spray bottle is dirty and I decided to wash it so I put in dishwashing liquid into it and hot water and start swirling but that didn't work so I ended up putting like an old sponge into it and then you can see it takes out the dirt and I'm just swirling and swirling to get out all the gunk inside it I put that away and also wash the back to sanitize it because you know hygiene is good <laughs> now i screw back the top part the spray part of it i don't know what the name is and then i squat 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 to get out all the water in the straw part so also clean that up so there's hot water in, in that right now i rinse it out pour it away it's all looking clean and then i put in extra hot water that i'm going to use to take down my corn rolls so here I am sitting down to print it on my cornrows and I remember I did not have all the instruments I need which happened to be my spray bottle with hot water inside, scissors and comb and then my able assistant who <laughs> wanted to help me to take down my hair because he saw his scissors and he wants to cut my hair then also last but not the least a mirror to see what I am doing so we proceed to down um, into two strand twist the corn rolls I already took down that's the shedding I have from that it's not good but it's fine it's been over a month <laughs> um, I just massage my hair with the hot water in it and I slowly try to finger detangle as much as possible without a comb to take care of the hair I don't want to put too much tension in it. I just want to figure the tongue with as much as possible before I put it in a two strand twist. And you can see I'm crying from all the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm crying from all the shedding I have. Um, plus, the person I braided it did it a little bit tight. So, yeah, some baby's hair. I said baby's hair. <laughs> some baby hair was lost in the process too, but oh well, it's fine. It's hair to it's grow back. And yeah, so. I split that um, portion into two and then I realized that the particular part that was tangled so I tried to you know untangle that and then start twisting it together over each other nothing fancy just so the hair can be in place and then when I'm about to wash it or when I'm washing it it's not too matted because I didn't put any combo or detangler into it or any product except water so this way I can easily manage it people that do pre-poo can also put their pre-poo in as they're taking down this corn roll to make it easy when it's time to wash see shedding 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 so now it's time for me to take down the corn roll so I spritz 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 the ends is the end of the corner is in a twist so slowly rub it together and then you can see how almost easily it all glides down except for the tips where they are not there so i have to as gently as possible remove it without putting a scissors through it to cut it out i know eventually i'm gonna have to cut my hair but i'm trying to retain as much length as i can right now and the reason why I have, also, not the reason, but one of the reasons why I have not in my hair is because I do not use a satin scarf or a satin or silk pillowcase. So yes, I've been very careless with my hair. So I have a lot of knots. Um, so, but I'm, I'm going to do better. I promise <laughs> to myself. So just watch me take down it little by little. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. And anywhere I try to, I reach a snag, I gently pull the strands out of the knot so just taking it little by little so as I was saying people that use pre pull can actually put their pre pull in as they're taking as they, once the corn roll is down that way your hair starts getting treated until you're ready to 
wash it so as it's going to be in the corn roll you're not manipulating it you're not put any tension in it after until you're ready to actually wash it and then properly detangle it so yeah I slowly make it to the front part which is a bit more tricky because that's part where I have most of the shedding and because it's close to the um, front of the hair where the baby hair is so you need to be as careful as possible to avoid losing so much hair you know it's going to shed because well it's been it's been over a month since i combed it but i'm trying to retain as much hair as i can i um, got to a point where i had to use a comb because it was necessary um, but i did it as slowly and you know tension i know lower tension as possible so it got to the actual tip and i was finding it difficult to get the little braid out so i, I decided to employ a special tool to do this part if you have a pigtail comb you can use that but i decided to use in this case a dental floss yes i use dental floss because it doesn't have rough edges so it's not going to snag on any strand of hair and you can see a lot of dirt and detanglement and everything at that particular portion so i already showed you how i took down the um, how i put it in the corn roll but this is the shedding after hours and hours this is the shedding i got from all the hair i had to do left it is i think i feel it's reasonable especially for taking on the braids though and yeah so this is me here telling you or showing you how many hours it took me <laughs> to take down everything it took me hours no kidding because i have a kid and I had other things to do so this is all the hair in twist and then i just used my um hair clip to hold it together and then my hair tie threw fell into the toilet thanks for watching bye